Now on Friday, we had the US Core PCE print. The personal consumption expenditures print measures the spending on goods and services by the citizens of the US. And around 2012, the PCE index became the main inflation index used by the Federal Reserve to inform its policy decisions. This will be used as a key gauge as to how the Fed is doing in the battle against inflation. Now you can see if the headline for the core print comes in below 4.5%, then that means the Fed has to do less to hike rates and that should weaken the US dollar. That should also give gold a boost higher. You can see here that January's print was 4.7%, up from December's print of 4.6%. So core PC has been just sort of trending higher. But if we get something certainly below 4.6, that will mean that the Fed will be perceived to need, need to do less and that should boost gold higher. It's also worth noting that gold has quite a distinct seasonal pattern coming up. You can see at the first day of April over the last 10 years, gold has tend to gain into the first week of April. So will we see those gold gains again? Major trade risks. The major trade risk here, of course, would be if the core PCE print extremely high, which would weaken gold. However, in that instance, it would not be unreasonable to expect medium term buyers to step in from 1900. Remember, HYCM clients can access the Seasonex product in order to analyze over 25,000 different currency pairs, indices, commodities, as well as individual stocks. Please do contact your account manager for a free trial to get started right away. Certain products and services mentioned herein may or may not be available to all clients, depending on which HYCM capital markets group entity their trading account adheres to.